hate you. I'm sorry for everything. I love you. I will stay with you forever. All right, have and have not fans. Uh, sadly, we only got one clip. Uh, the one you just saw, even though technically, I'm, I was hoping for at least two, but this will have to do. So make sure you like the video. Let's try to get to 75 likes. Go ahead and hit subscribe. Click the bell notification and select all. That way you're notified when I post new content and follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. Not much to say. I feel like I've done two or three videos already about this particular scene. Um, it or technically four. David is in love. Well, David was in love with Hannah. Is Veronica dreaming being in bed with David? Um, did Hannah and David hook up in the past? And now I'm doing this particular video based on the clip. Uh, the only thing is, you know. I'm sorry for hitting you. And I wonder if he's going to mention, I'm sorry for almost drowning you. Uh, and then Veronica's like, I'm sorry for everything. This shit ain't going to, oh, so, sorry for the language, but you, we all know this ain't going to last because she's going to have a mood swing and then she's going to be like, oh, your back is hurting, huh? Well, yeah, I bet that shows you. That that really got on my nerves uh, last season when she did that because it was just this Jekyll and Hyde thing going on, but you know, it is what it is. I it's I mean, this scene seems to play out exactly how I thought it might play out, where these two make nice with each other, and then when they get all comfortable, that's when David's wanna be like, I never told you I was in love with Hannah. And then Veronica makes a weird face and I'm just like, What? So I just feel like overall that's gonna be the scene that just makes things awkward. I could see this being a cliffhanger scene or at the very least towards the end of the episode, just based on the setup of everything. But um, do you think Veronica and David are both sincere? Do you think one of them is trying to play the other? What do you think in the comment section below? And I, I'm a, I'm sorry. Like I said, this video isn't super long because really there isn't much to talk about here. Uh, oh, also a fourth video. I didn't think about it. So, um, then I posted this morning about um veronica seeing through david's deception didn't i post like i, I post like 12 videos last night so i i don't know i just feel like there's nothing really to add to this scene that we haven't already discussed in previous videos so all i can say at this point is um if you would like to donate to the channel feel free to do so on paypal or cash app or join patreon for as little as one dollar a month and uh also just a quick I'm mad at myself because the Doc the Doc Shaw video, aka Malik, um, from House of Pain, that video is blowing up quickly. I wish I would have made it at least eight minutes long to get those mid advertisements in the videos for ad revenue. But I will say this much: I'm glad reading the comment section of that video. I'm seeing a lot of people spreading that positivity. I was hoping the video would produce because the only reason I made the video was to talk about the fact that I just didn't like the amount of people that were just like, man, why does he look so different? Something wrong with him, he's sick. And it wasn't even like, you know, there's a difference between being shocked that, oh my gosh, some this person looks incredibly different from the last time I saw them. And, you know, being generally concerned versus trolling and making fun. And that's something we don't, no, nah, we ain't about that on this channel. And like I said in that video, like if there's a character who's meant to, and I mean meant to be like busty and whatnot on purpose for the sake of the show or character they're playing, that's one thing we can kind of joke about that depending on the storyline, of course, versus, you know, uh, making fun or trolling a person because of their health. Proud of the guy for losing all that weight. And I meant what I said in like two other videos. Like I need to see what kind of routine he used, especially uh, what did he say in that one interview? Um, He's a uh, fresh fruit juice to his diet like that. Heck, I'll look into that. That's pretty good. I'm very picky when it comes to foods, but fruit juice is not a bad thing to me. Uh, it depends on what flavor. Like I said, I'm picky. So uh, I'm just very, very, very um, happy to see, at least on this channel, that a lot of the comments are pretty, pretty straightforward to the point of, spreading that positivity and like i said learning from the whole situation chat with bozeman in regards to people that were trolling him after he appeared in a live stream looking incredibly skinny then 
he was playing Black Panther. And then it wasn't until after he died that people are like, oh, man, I shouldn't have said that. Let's not do that. All right. So let's keep it positive. Check him out Wednesday night because I'm interested to see how things are going to go with his family. Because like I said, uh, Malik, he, well, he slimmed down. He looks more like CJ in the face. The only difference is he's obviously a different complexion, but it's, it's pretty cool. But uh, overall, um, you know, like I said in the other video, congrats to him on the weight loss. And, you know, keep it up, you know, either with the losing weight or bulking up, whatever he plans to do. Um, he looks great for 28. Because people, you know, when you get older, you look different. Like I said, he's... I don't know when his birthday is, but I know he's 28, I'm 29, so we're dang near close in age, but, uh, shoot. Go ahead, Malik. But, uh, aside from that, let's see, quick rundown, have and have nots tonight. Uh, I want to be honest, I don't know if I'm watching live. I've been up since 4.30 a.m. I've been busy all day. Uh, USPS just came, bless their heart. I helped the guy take my boxes to the, uh, luckily the mailman that's on my route also sells stuff on eBay, so he doesn't mind. When I have like these huge loads of things to uh, put on the truck, I had 28 boxes. Uh, we took them out in two trips that we killed it. Um, and I had stuff I list. So that's why I'm like, hey, go down to the description box. I listed almost 100 new items uh, this morning. Yes, a bunch of Power Ranger stuff from when I was a child, you know, like action figures and whatnot, more Pokemon cars. I still got a lot more to list. Honestly, think about getting that. Get my own place next year. I don't know. Like, either a house or an apartment. I don't... Still thinking about the details. You know, it's still a little early. But at the same time, it's like, I think I'm ready for the next step. Been in the same place five years. I think it's time to, you know, get up out of here um, next summer. Because my lease ends in June. So, technically, whatever. Close to summer. But, um... Just saving money for that. Also, uh, let's see. Wednesday, yeah, yeah. House of Pain Assisted Living. I'm going to give them another chance. We'll, we'll see if they're better. Uh, then Thursday, we got the return of Brah. Part 2, Season 1. Apparently, we're getting three episodes, so... BET Plus is going to be pretty loaded. If you haven't been on BET Plus, you got the Medea Farewell Play, which I do recommend. It's actually pretty good. You're going to have Bruh. I mean, we got the first 12 episodes of Ruthless on there, amongst other things, so just check that out. But other than that, thanks so much for tuning into the video. Um... I'm not going to promise that I'm going to watch the episode live tonight because, uh, look, all I got to say is these first three episodes were not worth staying up for. And I, it sucks because they changed the time slot to 8 p.m., but I just feel like for the most part, it's going to be a dull ass episode. But then there'll be a couple of moments I'm having have me going, oh, ah, I, I'm interested. And then that's it. So if I watch it, I will be live tweeting. And if I don't watch it, I'm not on Twitter, so you can blow up my DM or whatever. Look, all I got to say is this. This is how I rate whether an episode is good or not. If I miss an episode for whatever reason, and then I check my DM and it's blowing up on my Twitter, and I'm like, oh, shit, this was a great episode. Or it's the flip side where Jeremy didn't miss much. Your predictions were spot on, blah, blah, blah. It's, I mean, because think about it this way. This is my 13th video in the span of less than 24 hours prior to the episode airing. Not to toot my own horn, but... I think some of what my theories said are correct. If not, then I welcome it because it's uncharted territory and that makes things more interesting for interested or well, interesting for me. So with that being said, once again, if you'd like to donate to the channel, feel free to do so on PayPal, Cash App, or join my Patreon for as little as one dollar a month. But I'd probably recommend the Cash App because like I said, I gotta revamp Patreon or scrap it all together. I got some ideas, but I need time to execute them properly. So, as you can tell, I honestly sound really tired right now because UPS needs to come pick up two packages from Amazon. But if they don't come and I pass out, then screw it. I will just have them come tomorrow because they should have came earlier. That's it. All right, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll talk to you all soon.